Hey guys, I hope everybody's well. Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, we're going to start off this year with a Stetson Western Roundup. So what I'm going to do is just basically show you the most popular Stetson Westerns, the most classic ones, and if you're thinking about getting a Stetson Western hat, this is the, not the whole collection, but it's the cream of the crop. It's the classic models. It's the ones that people ask for uh, from the smallest uh, open road, which is kind of like a Western Fedora hybrid, to the $5,000 more higher-end beaver and chinchilla masterpieces. So we're going to take a look, and uh, as you know, I've been in the hat industry for a very long time. I'm working at New York's oldest hat shop, JJ Hat Center since uh, 94, about 27 years. And before that, I worked at another shop for uh, uh, nine years, actually since I'm a kid, uh, selling some Stetsons there too. And uh, I've been around the industry literally since I'm a kid and stuff. I used to go to the trade shows at uh, King of Prussia and things like that and uh, look at the Western hats and talk to the Stetson reps, even when I was a little guy. So uh, let's get into it. Okay, we've got to start with the Stetson Open Road. The Open Road is the smallest of the Westerns. It's classified as a Western crossover hat or a Western dress hat. It's not a big hat like a uh, typical cowboy or Western hat. It's smaller, closer to a fedora size, and it actually has a snap brim. There is a flange to the brim, although uh, they come in rather flat. You can't really snap them down that well. It's uh, got a little curve, and it's a sort of a flattish brim. But yeah, you can snap it down in front, like the, the gray one is pictured here, snapped, I think. Um, these have a 6X rating as far as the felt quality. It's basically a, a rabbit felt hat. Um, there's a few different varieties now. There's the 6X Western, which is the classic original version, uh, which is rather thin, yet very stiff, and, uh, and hard. Uh, and also there's something a little bit softer called the Royal Deluxe version, which is more of a dress hat felt, like a fedora style felt. You might classify it as a dress western. Some people don't even consider it a western. Uh, I do. In Back in the old days, you used to see a lot of older men wearing them. Uh, guys who wore cowboy hats felt a little bit uh, too, sh too showy in a full-size western and as they got a little older they'd put on a western hat and it would be a little bit smaller and gentlemanly these days it's very very popular because it's a it's a semi-western it's not a big full-out western so people in the city the country urban rural everywhere they wear it and uh it's an easy hat to wear if you're uh new at westerns um the royal deluxe is probably going to be a little bit softer nicer felt and um, now they came out with something called the Pure Open Road, which is a 100% beaver. I haven't actually seen one of these myself, but um, it might have come out in response to some of the felt issues in the cheaper open roads. And uh, it's basically just a super, super quality felt. Okay, we have to start with the Rancher. The Rancher is basically your full-out Western hat. There is nothing more classical and more iconic than the Rancher. If you're looking for the real deal, the real classical one, there's a lot of famous iconic images with people wearing the Rancher. It's a slightly high crown, uh, not so much for a Western, but it's definitely not a lower crown hat. It's got that bold, elegant look to it. It even looks nice as a dress western if you're wearing it with a suit or boots, things like that. It can have a very stately look. Um, traditionally, the ranchers were the guys with the money. So uh, they were the ones who'd wear the, the taller hats and the ones that basically uh, just had a more beautiful showy hat. Um, the rancher is a, just a gorgeous hat. And if you're looking to spend a little money, there are rancher versions that go way up. They all have different names, the Presidente, the Diamante, El Patron. They're all variations of the Rancher, 
with more expensive felt. Uh, there's a 6X rating to the standard rancher, but again, if you buy something with a higher X rating, 30X, 100X, um, 1000X, things like that, you're going to get the same shape, but uh, better felt and maybe a different band, something a little bit more um, um, showy or ornate. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorite hats. It's very, very durable, reliable hat. Uh, very big in Mexico. You see a lot of them uh, down there. And um, it's basically rec recognizable by its high crown and uh, the simple dress band. It's got the little ribbon band just like an open road does. Up next on the list is the Stetson Range. The Range is basically a medium-sized cowboy hat. It's not so big and so bold like a rancher, but it's not tiny and dress hat size, fedora size, like an open road. It's basically a shrunken down version of the rancher, and I'd like to say it's somewhere right in the middle of an open road and a rancher. Think of the open road as a tiny, miniaturized cowboy hat that's almost fedora sized. Think of the rancher as a full size, bold western, where the range is something right in the middle. It's for a person who just doesn't want such a big hat, but they want the same sort of look as a rancher. They want a classic look, something that's just a little smaller. Uh, it's a fantastic hat, and um, you don't see it enough. I think it's uh, a really useful hat for many people. Uh, JJ Hat Center, we carry the open road and the rancher, so we don't really do the range. It's sort of like, uh, there's just too much for us to carry, especially in New York City. Let's talk about the Stetson Carson. It's a great hat that's overlooked by a lot of hat shops. Uh, we used to sell it years ago, but for some reason we stopped selling it. It used to be immensely popular in the straw version too. The Carson is a cattleman crease that's nice and low. So if you want a hat that's low, low in the crown, kind of wide brim that kind of just curls up right on the end, it's, called, it's almost like a style that you see a lot of country music people uh, using. Uh, the country music stars have that kind of flat brim that's curled up right at the sides there. You could uh, always tell the Carson by that band. It has a sort of a braided leather band with that little um, rectangular Stetson medallion on the side. Fantastic hat. It sort of dips down in the front and the back, and it's got a long sort of a flattish brim and a low cattleman crease. It looks fantastic. It's very authentic Western that doesn't have a high crown. Uh, it's really, really nice. I kind of wish we still sold this hat, and uh, it's a wonderful hat if you're looking to just pick a, a basic hat that'll probably work on you. It's very, very authentic without the super high crown. Love the Carson. It's uh, classified as a 6X, so it's a standard rabbit fur felt, but... Um, that's good stuff. Here's another very popular classic Western with a 6X rabbit felt called the Skyline. The Skyline is pretty similar to a Rancher. Think of the Rancher as the higher crown version of this. This is just like a Rancher with a little lower crown. So if you don't want a big, tall, showy, Texas rodeo Western authentic crown, you want something a little bit lower a little bit more subtle, and uh, maybe it's just more appropriate for your height, this is the hat. Uh, for instance, let's say you live in the city. You just don't want something that's really, really showy and Western. Maybe you're a lady and you're a little shorter. Um, you're just not a tall man, and you're afraid of going too high in the crown. This is like a rancher with a lower crown, slightly different curve to the brim, but very similar. It's a little bit sort of a wider, flatter curve to the brim, but it's so similar. And obviously the biggest difference is the band. It has what they call a self band. The band itself is made out of the same fur felt as the hat, and it's got sort of an ornate uh, belt buckle on the side of the band. 
a lot of people prefer this band. They think it's a little bit more interesting, a little bit more ornate. Uh, I think it's basically a personal choice. The Rancher and the Open Road have just sort of a little ribbon band, which can be considered a little bit more simple and elegant. This has a little bit more of a Western flair to the band. It's almost like a Western belt buckle. So again, just like a Rancher, same type of felt, but it's a lower crown. The same cattleman crease as a Rancher or an Open Road, but not as high. So it's a lower crown and a self band. The Skyline 6X. The next hat up is called the Dune. It's a 5X rabbit fur. The felt is a little bit thinner. It's a stiff felt, but slightly thinner, similar to the 6X open road. Not quite as durable as something like a Rancher or a Skyline, which has a very, very thick 6X quality felt. This is something for somebody who wants a real crossover hat. It can be classified as an Australian Outback style or maybe just something like a flat western. It can also look very dressy. If you do this hat in black, it looks great with an overcoat if you're going to work. It's a fantastic hat for a lady because it has an extremely low crown. Uh, a lot of the Stetson ads, you see ladies wearing them. It comes in a variety of colors and uh, it is a beautiful hat. The felt itself is not as bulletproof and as rugged as something like a full-out Western, like a Rancher or a Skyline, something like that. But um, you can expect to have this hat for a long time. I would say watch the torrential rains and things like that. If you're buying something like a 6X Open Road or a Dune 5X, don't go out there and pouring, pouring rains. If you're going to wear a real, real full-out Western hat, something like a, uh, a Range or a Rancher or anything like that, you're going to get a lot more of a thicker felt that can hold up its own weight and the weight of the water when it gets wet. Um, none of these hats are meant to be worn as rain hats, but your thicker, more rugged Westerns will endure and they'll keep their shape simply because they're thicker and they can hold the weight of the water. The next hat is a hat that we do not carry at JJ Hat Center. It's part of the Stetson Buffalo Collection. It's called the Seneca. It's rated as a 4X and it's part of Stetson's Buffalo Collection. The Buffalo Collection is basically Stetson's uh, slightly lower range uh, hat collection. They're not fur felts although they're marketed as the Buffalo Collection, which is a little bit misleading, possibly slightly on purpose. It is a sort of a brilliant marketing scheme. Um, they're essentially 100% wool. These are wool hats, and um, they classify them as fur blends. I don't know if there's really fur in there. I can't tell you. This isn't something that is... Uh, revealed to retailers. They're more like uh, trade secrets. Nobody knows how much beaver or how much rabbit is in a particular hat for any brand. Uh, if you're buying a hat that's, let's say, beaver and mink, we don't know how much mink is in there or rabbit and beaver. Nobody tells you. It's all trade secrets. But essentially, this is the Buffalo Collection. Uh, it is 100% wool. If there's a pinch of fur in there, I don't know. There are a lot of misleading uh, advertisements depending on which store you go to. Here's one, the black one you can see. They're calling it genuine buffalo felt made of 100% buffalo fur felt, which is not true. This is, uh, if you just Google it, say, uh, what is a Stetson buffalo collection made out of or what is this Stetson Buffalo yeah what is this Stetson Col Buffalo collection made of it'll come up 100% wool they're good hats let's put it this way um, they're very very thick they're very rugged and uh, despite what they're made of they are water resistant just like 100% fur felt what you're looking for is good thick thick felt thick felt is important Although we don't carry the Buffalo line, 
at JJ Hat Center, the Buffalo Collection is a good, rugged, reliable hat for somebody who doesn't have a lot of money to spend. They're not looking to spend $250, $300 on a Western hat. These will go for about half that, you know, 100 and something, uh, 150 120 They're nice hats. Um, nobody's going to know what the heck it's made out of. Nobody really cares as long as the hat is in good shape, looks nice on you, and feels good. That's, that's good. Uh, I personally think they're nice hats, although I haven't sold the Buffalo Collection at my shop. I've steamed a lot of them, and I've seen many of them, and they hold up well. It's not a bad little hat, and um, it's something uh, good to start with if you're just getting into westerns. Okay, we have to talk about the Stetson Shasta. Now we're getting into some of the more deluxe hats, the better stuff. These are their premium hats. If you look inside uh, where it has the X's on the sweatband, they classify the 10X and above as 10X Beaver. So now it just doesn't say 4X or 4X fur felt, 5X, 6X. It says 10X beaver. So there is some beaver in here now. It's a beaver and rabbit combination. Um, the finish to the hat is definitely softer. It has the feel of a 30X or 100X hat, which has a particular feel. They feel very, very dense, kind of thin and very sharp at the edge of the brim. And the finish is just very, very soft. It's like the softest, most velvety type of finish you could think of. This hat is very similar to the Skyline in shape. Uh, actually, in looks, it also has the same band almost as the Skyline. It's like, a, again, like a rancher with a shorter lower crown and a self-band with the more ornate Western belt buckle uh, trim on the side. It's a fantastic style. If you're looking to spend a little bit more money and you want something very special and very lasting, I think the 10X is a great way, great way to go. It's a fantastic place to start. Uh, if you look at a 10X, 20X, 30X, 100X, they all kind of feel similar. So it's hard to really tell the difference between a, a 100X hat and a 10X. They have that beautiful deluxe feel. Um, Unless you're trying to impress your buddies and you want to show them the inside, all the, you know, the 100Xs in there or the 500Xs, um, that's, you know, that's okay. It is a status symbol. But uh, the 10X to me, it's very, very good quality and I highly recommend it. Uh, again, at JJ's, we call it the Tycoon. It's essentially the same hat. Okay, now we're going to talk about the real big boys. We're getting into the 30Xs and, and above now. These are not hats that we carry any longer. We used to carry them years ago, and they sold a lot better in New York back in the days. So these days, we tend to go up to about 10X at JJ Hat Center, but uh, they are available all the way up, you know, into the thousands of dollars. This is going to be a step above 10X. It's called the El Patron, uh, extremely soft felt, very very sharp sharp edges the, it's just like a razor sharp edge they seem like they took a lot of felt and they compressed it really really tight and really really thin so that the hat itself feels dense yet not thick it's got a beautiful beautiful feel the felt itself has a very fine finish they just keep buffing it and buffing it into a uh, a softer softer finish it's exquisite again it's a take on the standard rancher style it has a little bit wider kind of a softer curl to it um, a little bit lower crown and it's a uh, the very popular style it's a very accessible easy hat for a lot of people to wear but you're starting to go uh, into the higher range dollar amounts now uh, similar band to a uh, skyline or to a Shasta. It's got the self bands with the more ornate kind of silver and gold buckle there. And it's wonderful if uh, you're looking to buy something very, very special. It's a, it's a lifetime hat. And like some of the more high-end Westerns that Stetson makes, it comes in this amazing color called Mist Gray, 
which is just a light, light, light dove gray. It's just a gorgeous color. Uh, I like it even more than Silver Belly. It's almost like a classier version of Silver Belly. It's less beige, sort of less tan looking and more sort of silvery. Okay, here it is. This is the real deal, the Big Daddy. This was their highest end hat for many, many years. The El Presidente is 100X fur felt. It's got the tall crown, the taller, bolder crown, like a Stetson Rancher. It's very, very authentic looking, and a four inch wide brim. So it's a bold look, a wide brim and a tall crown. It has the beautiful self band made out of the 100X felt and a 24, actually it's a 10 karat gold medallion on the side. It's a Stetson uh, medallion made out of 10 karat gold. And it comes with a really nice uh, carrying case, like a plastic carrying case, which is gorgeous too. Very nice. Uh, in the old days, they used to come with a display case, a wood and like a Lucite display case and a brush and all these things. Um, it's gorgeous. Everything about it is beautiful. El Diamante. This is the 1000X hat. It's uh, a hat that they came out with for Stetson's 150th anniversary. This is a hat that generally sells for about $5,000. It also sells for sometimes $4,700. You can order different brim sizes, a three and a half, a three, uh, three and three quarters, or a four inch. Although if you uh, order them custom, it's a final sale, which is, uh, you know, understandable. I believe you could also order it regular, a round or a long oval. And um, it's only available in Silver Belly. Now this hat's pretty amazing. It comes with a really nice hand tooled uh, Stetson case. It is classified as a thousand X fur felt, which is a beaver hat with chinchilla fur mixed in. They tried to find something more exotic than beaver, I guess. Uh, it also comes with a 24 karat gold medallion on the side with 26 diamonds. Uh, the hand tooled leather box is gorgeous that it comes with. And it also comes with some sort of a, uh, a lifetime renovation card. So you could have it uh, renovated, I guess cleaned and reshaped and stuff by Stetson. Uh, although the lifetime renovation card is only good for a one-time use. So that's interesting. It's lifetime, but you can only use it once. Um, although you could always bring your hats into JJ Hat Center and we'll clean them and we'll reshape them for free. No matter where you bought it, we won't even ask. That's always something we're willing to do uh, just to, to enrich the, uh, the hat scene, the hat culture. We we just do it. Also, it gets people into the shop. You know, they like to watch us uh, steam their hats and stuff. But uh, this is about as nice as they get. It's a four and five eighths inch crown, which uh, it's a cattleman crease. They classify it as a medium, medium tall crown. And um, this hat, I don't think I've ever seen. We used to sell the El Patron. We used to sell the, the 100X. I think there was even a 500X that we sold, which is uh, discontinued now. But uh, you could see the diamonds there on the side and the uh, 24 karat gold. Now, obviously, not everybody can afford to buy a uh, 4700 or a $5,000 Western hat. But uh, those who can, it's almost like a custom hat. What you can do is you can order three different brim sizes, three and a half, three and three quarters, or a four inch brim. You can also order it in different shapes. Uh, the inside, it could be a regular, it can be a round or a long oval. I believe it also comes with a hat brush too. Now, thanks very much for joining us here on Hats and Guitars. My name is Kevin. Um, we really appreciate you stepping aboard and being part of this whole uh, little rowdy group that we have here. If uh, you like what you see, please give me a, a thumbs up, a little like action there. Um, it does help to support the channel and it's absolutely free. And um, if you uh, want to show your appreciation, we do really uh, thank you so much. It does help us to buy things like lighting, green screens, and uh, to keep the channel looking sharper. Thank you very much, and uh, 
Happy trails. Thank you.